Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're back here with another episode of uh, browser reviews. So this time around, we're gonna be downloading a browser called Colibri, which seems like a uh, a minimalist style um, web browser. It doesn't actually have tabs. It seems interesting. Uh, let's let's just go ahead and give it a try. Let's see. Okay, started enter an email that we use. So let's just enter my email here at popesites.tech. Get started. Awesome. So let me actually just check my my email out right now, and uh, let's let's just get this thing started, shall we? So let me go mail. Okay, welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Let's see. Put sites. That's me. Calibri. All right. So let's create an account and download the application, shall we? Download for Mac. Okay. Let's uh, let's just do a password. Awesome. I already like the uh the whole registration system. You know, it feels secure. It feels like, you know, I, my browser has a has a username and password. That's pretty legit. All right, so we're just gonna drag and drop. Exit out of this. Oh, we need to. Uh, I already dragged it over there. Um, now let's keep both. Let's uh. Hang on, I don't, I don't, okay, whatever, we have two of them now. Anyways, let's keep going. So, verifying, perfect. Let's just, I love it when it verifies my apps. It lets me know it's a real application. Yeah, from GitHub, okay, let's do it. Here we go. Okay, a little feedback button. They're in beta. So, um, hi guys. Check out this sweet YouTube vid on Ubri. What's, uh, what's my channel? Okay, great. So, anyways, let's uh, let's keep going. So, command R is reload. Um, command that is forward. That is backward. You can see I'm here. Um, it's right next to the P. Command D is to add a link. So, if I hit Command D, uh, I'm not exactly sure what that does. Command E is web search. Command T is toggle view. So, let's try that now. So, um. Let's just minimize that. So that's uh let's see, add a link, command D. It doesn't seem like any of these are really doing anything. Let's, we don't need two of these. Okay, uh let's just let's just begin. Um can I log in, help. Okay, let's just go to google.com, see what happens. Awesome, we're on Google now. So let's go to uh Let's just make a Google search for pennies. I like pennies. Um, cool. Cool. It's a gold. It's kind of quick. Kind of quick for for these searches. Um, let's go to a website now. Let's uh. How how do you how do you uh? Add to links action requires an account. Oh. Okay. Um, so I guess you can only use Google to go to uh, to new websites. Um, okay, here we go. Let me log in. Let me do Connor at Tech. 
And then for the password. Oops. Okay. Um, add your first link, command D. Okay, uh, let's go to a website. Uh, let's just do CNN.com because it's notorious for for advertisements. Um, let's let's see what happens. No advertisements right off the bat. Hold on, what's this? What's going on? What's going on? Here we go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so it doesn't block ads. Yeah, it doesn't block ads. If we do command E, it takes us to Google. I'm not so sure what uh, new link added. Okay, encrypted.google.com. Yeah. Um, but what if I just want to go directly to a website, though? I mean, Reddit. What about Reddit? It's, it's not too fast. Yeah, they definitely have advertisements on this web browser. I'm already noticing that. What about uh? Okay, so yeah, this sh this just takes us to that. What about Command T? Command T takes us here. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's it's kind of cool, I guess. Let's play a video game. I don't know, taking this is bore.com. They have cool games here sometimes. Let's try to play uh, a video game and see what happens. Let's just play a driving game. Let's just play this one. Let's see. So it wants to open in a new window. Let's just open in this window. Yeah, what if we have an a href equals underscore target HTML attribute. I mean, what would happen? Would it? No, oh, skip ad. I guess it just tells you it wants to open it. Okay, couldn't load plugin. Okay, I mean that's cool. Um, just command T go home. I mean command T to go home is cool. Um, I actually don't. I guess I guess this would be good for like. If you're trying to get like work done, and if you're trying to e send an email maybe, or you're just trying to get work done, and you don't want to open up like 20 different browsers to uh, to distract you, you just you just want to have this one web browser open and uh, just one window open, so you don't have to navigate through like 20 different things. So I guess that's pretty much what you would use this browser for. Um, I mean, it is in beta. So, I guess you got to give it a little slack. It's uh, it's got some work to be done on it for sure. Um, I mean it's cool, but as of right now, just don't really see why I would ever want to use this browser um, or something like Brave. So yeah, um, I guess for a rating, I would give it maybe, as of right now, maybe a five out of ten. Just because, I mean, why use it, you know? Yeah.